Oh my. This is like the morning to end all mornings. Holy smokes. The wind died and it is just gorgeous. It's like a double secret beach entrance. no idea how to get down there. Our room is on the highest floor. Whoa. Up in the top there. <clears throat> and I have yet to explore this beach. Let's take a gander from the semi-elevated position. Oh, amazing. This is incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see, uh, see how many people are on the beach. Do this little vlog. A little bit of a walk and talk like yesterday. Take advantage of these grounds to do this. Really surprised on the uh, responses for yesterday's vlog you know, regarding what people think of you when you move to a place like this. And, um, <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys reference haters to my channel. That's really not what I was going for. It was really going for more of the people that I knew or know currently that still live in the U.S., not the trolls online. Yeah, they don't even have anything set up here. Let's just leave all this right there. Maybe take the sweat rag. Undo the rainbows. And get into this. Gorgeous water. So, there's another hotel right here. I think it's like the Movin' Pick or something. Crimson, maybe? I don't know, one of those two. And uh, this is a shared beach. So, based on what I saw yesterday going to the <clears throat> Obama grill the two beaches here at the Shangri-La are un unmatched unmatched maybe there's one on the other side of the island that is similar but um, this is this is unbelievable so today's topic is something that I've been internalizing for quite a while and have not had the balls to talk about. And that is, I have let the Philippines let me become completely lazy. And uh, that's shown itself in a couple ways. Um, I think my work ethic in general has subsided immensely but really what I want to talk about is my physical health you know I have so many people here that cater to my needs I get so much help from the people that work from us at, at, at the house to having a lovely Filipino wife that it's been difficult It's put me in a state of laziness, really. It's actually pretty bad. And it's getting progressively worse. And it's my fault. Completely my fault, you know. Just because your, your surroundings or circumstances are some way. 
doesn't make you not responsible for the outcome. And the outcome for me has been gaining a ton of weight. And so I'm making a commitment to myself to change that. And I haven't really been ready for that for a while. Partly because Partly because I just didn't care. I kind of went into a state of, uh, who cares? You know, I'm married. <laughs> it is what it is. I've already played the tough guy role, role in my life. I've already been in shape. I already done all the crazy weightlifting and all that stuff. I have no, no, um, <clears throat> no necessity to prove myself per se. So kind of kind of rested on that and thought I've been there done that got the t-shirt was in the infantry in the army played four years of uh, division three college football I did the tough physical stuff you know I don't I don't need to do that all over again it's tough and extremely hard to do on a on an island that doesn't have a gym like you saw Chrissy working out in but you know, those are just obstacles. They're not um, excuses. And so, today is June 24th. Now I'm gonna keep track of where I'm going. I think I weighed in at like 315 pounds when I was at home. And uh, what really hit me the, the selfish desire for me to want to change this is um, honestly I want to be surfing that that piece of land that we're building in uh, in Samar or the, that we bought just opened my eyes that hey you know you could surf here there's actually ways within driving distance and in my current physical condition that's not going to work out too well. And I've never had that hindrance before. So it's kind of a bummer. And um, I really realized that when I jumped in the water, tried to paddle, borrowed a board. And I was like, hey, this, this ain't working. So, <laughs> so I got to change. So guys, if I stay this way in two, three months, no change, got to hold me accountable. And uh, I know lots of people have mentioned it. I get the comments all the time. I got it. I understand. But for me, I'm ready. Two years here, I'm ready to work on that aspect of my life. And uh, it's going to be a challenge because I've always been a gym guy. And <laughs> there's no gym in Southern Leyte. But it is a trap here. And uh, I think it was a couple months ago I saw an expat guy. He was going to the doctor. And the dude could barely get out of his car. He must have been like 65 years old. And um, in that moment, I kind of saw myself heading down that direction. And uh, it really, really scared the crap out of me. And uh, even today, you know, I got this Apple Watch thing going. I had two heart rate notifications. You know, irregular fast heartbeat. Just from sitting and drinking some coffee so that's not good that's not good and I will say it's gonna be significantly harder than oh jeez uh oh oh shoot oh geez. Can a man find a place to sit around here? <laughs> it's 
this looks like they got some bathrooms. It is going to be significantly harder to do than if I was in the U.S. You know, I'm, I'm out of things to blame this on, like I said, but I was actually doing pretty good pre-COVID and then it all hit. And uh, literally, I was locked in the house for three months. Um, we had one of the hardest lockdowns, I think, in the world here, and one of the longest. In fact, they're still they're still doing it in certain places like uh, Manila and that kind of stuff. But you know that that three months, combined with the depression of what the world was going into, the unknown, the fear, I think. I think I found a lot of comfort through food. And um, that became a source of, of uh, safety for me, I guess. Because <laughs> I really didn't have anything else when you're just in a, in a room. And I think I never really bursted that rut from March of 2020 to now. And it's getting to the point, my health, that uh, it's just really bad. And, and um, So anyway guys, hopefully I make some progress. It's gonna be a long road, you know. It takes, things like this aren't easy to fix. And uh, it's, it's something that's really bothered my self-esteem for a while. Um, and, um, but hey, there's one good, there's, one, there's a couple good things in this. That I've, I've trained before it's not like I don't know what I'm doing in the gym. I gotta learn a little bit more without gym stuff, so that'll be different, but I pretty much know how it's done. And um, the diet will be the, the challenge, most challenging thing because where we live in Southern Leyte, honestly, the fish suck, the chicken is good, and there's just so much pork going around. And there's literally, I got, I got to start taking care of my own food because the people around me, they cook with so much freaking oil, it's ridiculous. And I, I've tried to tell them again and again, you only need a little bit of oil and they just pour the freaking bottle in. That includes Chrissy and the help in the house. So I don't know if any of you guys that live in the Philippines have had, gone through that, where you've had to have the oil talk, but, um, Anyway, as of today, guys, I'm going on a, I'm gonna start fixing this. Uh, I had a, had a nice workout in the gym yesterday, I guess an hour and a half or so, kind of get that started. I'm really sore today, really sore, but maybe just do some cardio. Anyway, guys, just be aware. Um, you can kind of see through my experience a little bit about <laughs> just what a challenge it can be in the Philippines because it's such a hospitable country that um, you know everyone wants to do things for you and and uh, you know it's like this in a lot of places in the world too it's like people just want to feed you and give you stuff and you know and with Chrissy breastfeeding it's been a challenge too I'm try not trying to make excuses although I kind of am but I mean, Chrissy's hungry all the time. She's eating like five, six meals a day. And then, you know, so that kind of translates into me eating. Hopefully when she stops breastfeeding here pretty soon, she'll slow down on that end as well, make it a little easier on me. But um, yeah, I gotta break out the home gym, gotta get this done. So this is my, this is my confessional video regarding something that everybody already knew already. Um, but it's gonna be a real challenge. And I try to make these videos as honest as I possibly can. I have a lot of shortcomings in life. Um, a lot of people have tried to monetize that <laughs> on the internet. I'm sure you guys could find those. 
But um, anyway, guys, it is a absolutely gorgeous day here. The wind has calmed down, which when I first got here, I was totally bummed out because it looked like the wind was going to continue all the way through the week. So here's your evening video, Philippine time. Trying to do a couple of a day, trying to uh, do the best I can here. Show off this property. Hopefully you enjoyed this nice semi secluded beach. And uh, it's it's light years ahead of what I I see in Bor in a, uh, in the the white sand beach or the stations of Boracay. All right, guys. Take care. What is this? I'm not sure I should touch that. One last parting thought <laughs> is uh, is this, as I switch to back to the beach that um, I filmed from yesterday. You know, I make a lot of mistakes in my life, but there's one thing that I've learned is you just gotta bounce back. And I've bounced back from a lot of things. Whether it's been being fired from a job, laid off from a job, <clears throat> Um, <laughs> having drugs planted on you in Mexico and getting out of the jail in the foreign country, being express kidnapped in Moscow and getting away from coming to the Philippines without a source of income and wondering how long it was going to take till the money ran out. There's been, there's been a few examples from a divorce to getting remarried, that was a big one. Um, and there's a couple I'm still working on, you know? My weight, my relationship with my son in the US, it's really a, gonna be a long road. But I think I've, I've recovered from enough things in my life that um, it's given me the confidence that uh, if I work at something, it's gonna happen. Once you have confidence, you're really hard to stop. So hopefully I have that confidence to move forward, guys. Thanks for staying for the extended cut. <laughs>